Hi. If you're new to Hedera Hashgraph, you might be wondering, is anyone actually using it? Is anyone planning to build on it? Has anyone built anything using Hashgraph? Well, folks, let me introduce you to Antiva Health, a online career management platform for healthcare professionals. Recently, Antiva Health announced their plans to develop the first immutable and primary source verified credential management platform in the healthcare space powered by Hashgraph. So to gather further insights into this development, I met with John Hardigan from Antifa Health in order to find out more. All right. So John, uh, why don't you introduce yourself and also your company? Sure. Um, so I am uh, John Hardigan, the Executive Vice President of Strategic Development and Partnerships at Antifa Health. And Antifa Health uh, is a uh, integrated platform for licensed medical professionals to automate and streamline the administrative sides of their careers. Great. So John, wh why don't you tell us a little more about the current state of the medical credentialing world and also I guess like some of the issues that medical professionals are having to face today. If you are not familiar with licensed medical professionals, uh, you may not know the arduous task it is to gain privileges at a facility. So if uh, Dr. Smith applies to work at Mayo Clinic, for, for example, uh, they say, great, Dr. Smith, please send over your uh, credential packet. And so they send uh, something like 25 documents, their medical license, their diplomas, and different certifications. And uh, currently, this is done uh, mostly in an analog fashion. So a, an individual gets a packet of these credential documents, uh, and they literally pick up the phone a lot of times and call to verify the reputation of that document and that, that individual. And once they get down the list, they check off uh, the different documents, and it goes to a privileging committee and then the privileging committee will grant privileges based on that verification of documents. That can take weeks and in some cases months. Yikes. So it's a pretty uh, kind of manual process and I, I gotta imagine it's gonna be pretty in inefficient. Yes, uh, not much has changed. I mean, the internet has, has um, helped a lot and email, I'm sure, but not a lot has changed since the 50s when it comes to the actual manual uh, verification of reputation and documents uh, between facilities and between uh, licensed medical professionals. Great. So I guess this is kind of a good transition to my next question for you, John. Um, so I guess what is ReadyDoc and what is it doing in order to fix the world of uh, medical credentialing? That's a great question. So ReadyDoc, um, based on our partnership with uh, Hashgraph, um, this integration is going to allow us to uh, do instantaneous credential verification. Uh, so something that took weeks and months in the market will now be instantaneous. Um, ReadyDoc is the embodiment of many, many years of development and, and thought how we could potentially leverage blockchain technology to create this verification system. Uh, and so, um, again, Thousands and thousands of hours of uh, primary source verification will be condensed into seconds. So I guess, who are some of the participants on the, the platform? I think you might have mentioned before, you know, obviously there's going to be the doctors themselves, but how about like the facilities or any other players on the network? Sure. So um, the facilities and medical groups, we, we term them FMGs. Um, they are an integral part of the platform uh, and the verification process itself, including working with the doctors and their administrators. So, for example, um, uh, in the credentialing world, uh, you have many players who um, uh, interact with a physician's credential uh, information. And all of those players are able to access our system securely um, and anonymously uh, in order to verify as well as uh, assist in the updating of that provider's information. So facility A may have a particular document that is updated that facility C does not have yet. 
in the current state of affairs is facility A has information, facility B has information, facility C has information, and it's never shared. There's silos of information. With our platform, um, that will change because the, the information follows the med licensed medical professional wherever they go, and the facilities will be able to tap into that information, update it on the behalf of the provider, um, and have it verified. And then all of the facilities and all of the groups will benefit from that, of the accuracy and timeliness of that information. Right. So basically you're creating a digital packet or like a digital credentialing package for the doctors and putting it on your platform. Is that a fair statement? That is correct. And, uh, and, and over time, the, um, the accuracy and the reputation will be f more firmly established um, because just because of the nature of Hashgraph and because of the nature of the platform. Great. So I, I think you might have mentioned this before. Um, so you guys had been looking at blockchain for a while. I guess what made you decide to use Hashgraph uh, in place of some of the other solutions that were uh, out there? Um, that's a great question too. Uh, we, we've been looking at blockchain for quite a while um, and uh, one of the big reasons is for security. Um, and we realized that um, it was, you know, it is the gold standard uh, when it comes to decentralized security. And when we initially uh, started researching blockchain solutions, we realized very quickly that um, speed and fairness was a big issue um, because we need to be able to establish real time and date stamps, immutable time and date stamps on these uh, credentials in order for them to uh, have that verification that we're talking about. Um, additionally, with uh, uh, we had storage issues and a number of things. And Hashgraph, uh, their technology uh, checked all the boxes for us, and uh, we were very excited when we met them, um, uh, Dr. Baird and uh, Mance Harmon, uh, and we realized that we had an excellent synergy with what we were doing and what they what they were doing. Great. So uh, I guess before we kind of wrap up here, uh, so John, I know that you guys came out with a announcement uh, last week. Uh, about the launch of uh, ReadyDoc, including uh, some details around a potential uh, token that might accompany the platform. I guess, uh, what other kind of information do you have uh, available to kind of share around that? Uh, sure. Yes, we're very excited. Um, we have announced uh, the launch, um, uh, with the pre-sale of our token on April 19th. Uh, it is a utility token to be used within our economy on the platform. Uh, licensed medical professionals will be able to earn the token by taking certain actions in the system that uh, improve the accuracy and timeliness of their data. So, for example, uh, if they upload uh, a document uh, that has been expired, for example, or if they uh, look for a, a new job on our uh, platform, they will be able to earn tokens. And then um, once they own the token, they will be able to uh, use that for purchasing uh, continuing medical education courses, for example. We have a library of over 200 courses that they can choose from. Um, additionally, they'll be able to purchase other curated goods and services that will assist them along in their, in their career journey, uh, things like medical malpractice, uh, um, uh, and a number of other um, a number of other goods and services that we have in our marketplace. Wow! So it really sounds like you're building out your own kind of like ecosystem there within the platform. Yes, absolutely. And we have partners coming on uh, every week um, that are uh, new partners. And and additionally, um, uh, we talked a little bit about this um, last time, and, and that is that we are working under a model for the National um, Osteoporosis Foundation right. for charitable giving. So um, we have uh, assisted them with establishing a, a wallet, a crypto wallet, so that they can receive cryptocurrencies as a form of donation. And we will be matching some of that, uh, those, those donations in cryptocurrency with Intiva tokens. And uh, we hope that this model will uh, will take off in other spaces uh, because uh, the not-for-profit world can benefit greatly from some of the uh, uh, great wealth that has been generated recently. And we talked about uh, you know tax time is coming up and uh, some people have some very large capital gains they weren't expecting and a, a great way to uh, 
to reduce that is to donate to a charitable organization. And so uh, we work with a number of those and uh, we want to facilitate that. Great. So John, before I let you go here, this is the gossip guy after all. So I always ask any of my uh, interviewees this, I guess, what gossip uh, do you have to uh, potentially share with us? And uh, I guess, is there anything else that we should be on the lookout for uh, in Tiva Health? Uh, so uh, I, I am in fact a, in Puerto Rico right now at the blockchain conference in San Juan. And uh, after the announcement of uh, Hashgraph's public ledger, there is all kinds of gossip flying around here, out, <laughs> around here about, about tokens and who's going to be first and, and what's going to be happening there. Uh, and so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to keep track actually of all the gossip that's going on here. Um, one, one bit for us is that, um, you know, we are in fact launching a token and, uh, we, we had a sense that there would be a public ledger, uh, with Hashgraph, uh, at some point, uh, we will be launching on ERC 20, um, initially, but, uh, our plan is to, uh, shift our token over to uh, Hashgraph as soon as that becomes available and do a one-to-one -one burn uh, uh, in order to, to make that happen. So that's that's a, a few nuggets that we have for you there. Great. Well, I guess you guys are kind of pioneering the way for uh, the growing uh, Hashgraph ecosystem. So Yes, um, yes we're excited to be uh, part of the Hashgraph uh, movement. Woo. Well, John, uh, I really appreciate your time and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Yep. There you have it, folks. Antiva Health and the ReadyDoc platform powered by Hashgraph. If you want any further information on this, I've left links to Antiva's website and their recent press releases in the description down below. I want to wrap up by thanking John and the Antiva team for their time. This is a very exciting development in the Hedera Hashgraph ecosystem. So from all of us in the community, we wish you the best of luck. If you like this video and want to see more features of other companies beginning to develop on Hedera Hashgraph, be sure to like this video or leave a comment down below. And finally, if you want to join me as we gossip about the world powered by Hashgraph, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications in order to stay posted on further developments. This is the Gossip Guy signing out. Thanks for watching.